The black locust, Robinia pseudoacacia, and the legume family has a very limited range naturally to the Ozarks and the Appalachians, but it's widespread as a naturalized tree throughout the eastern United States. It has a very distinctive leaf. The leaflets are blue-green in color. It's a pinnately compound leaf. So that's one leaf consisting of these blue-green leaflets. And it's different from the gladitsia, the, the honey locust, in that it's never bipinnately compound as honey locust sometimes is. Since it's in the legume family, we expect that the fruit would be a legume-like pod, which it is. And they mature as a brown color and about four inches long with very small bony seeds. The black locust has another very distinctive feature, and that is the pair of spines at each node. Unlike the honey locust, which has a three-branched thorn, these are a pair of spines for black locusts. And the bark is also quite distinct in that it's ridged and furrowed with subtly interlacing ridges in relatively deep furrows, especially as the tree gets older. Black locust does not live very long, about 100 to 150 years. It's a tremendous root sprouter. It's one of the very best woods for firewood, but it is not native to the Northeastern United States and it sometimes can become invasive. It does have beautiful flowers, so it does have a place in certain landscape settings and it's great for restoring degraded lands. Black locust, Robinia pseudoacacia.